In this lesson, we're going to learn all about video transformations. Let's go to our stock media tab where we can get high quality video footage. Right over here, you can go to Pixabay to get your videos. There's a photo tab and a video tab. We're going to focus on video right now. And I will get this video that I previously downloaded. You can hit this download icon and then click it once to play it and see whether you want to use this video. This is okay for me. I'm going to hit the plus icon right here. I'm going to keep the project settings. You can match it to media if you want. The media's dimensions are obviously bigger, but I'm just going to stick with what we have. Okay, and I also need another video that I'm just going to scroll down to find. I'm going to go to my downloads since I previously downloaded that. It's right here. And I'm just going to hit the plus icon to bring it into my timeline. I'm going to trim this so we have a similar size for both. And now I'm ready to transform these videos. So let's take a look at the transform options that we have for every video. Just select your footage like this and go to this properties panel. You can also double click on your video to get the transform tab. So as you can see, after double clicking or like we said, you can select it once and go here, access this panel both ways. We are currently in the video tab, which is the video of this footage. But if the video had audio, which ours doesn't, you can go to the audio tab and then we have speed, color, and finally animation. We're going to get into these in further lessons. Let's focus on video and on the first thing, which is called transform. So it's a tab right here. Each of these panels have a, a switch that you can turn on and off. Let's say you adjusted some things and you just weren't happy with it. You can turn this off to remove any of the transformations. I'm also going to close these two panels. We're going to get into these later. There are so many options for uh, your videos. So you can see, I'm going to turn off everything that we're not going to use. So we're just seeing the results from the transform tab or the default settings. You can also reset things. Let me move these like that. Reset things using this button down here, hit reset, and you will get the original settings that Filmora had for all of these. You can see turned compositing back on, even though we turned it off. I'm just gonna turn this off right now. So let's take a look at what each of these are. The first thing that you see is rotate. This rotates your video to either side. You can go a full 360. You can go for like 90 degrees, 180 degrees, whatever you want. You can also type things in here. I'm going to hit 90 and we're getting this result. You can use the sliders to just play around and see which one is, which angle is uh, to your preference. Again, if you changed your mind, you can always hit this button to go back to zero or the original position of your video. So rotating is great because sometimes you want to get that video from another angle. Maybe I want to uh, rotate my clip in a way that this bug is uh, standing straight. So right now it's like towards this uh, angle, but if I rotate it, I can make it be like this. Now it's like the bug is on a straight line. Depending on your video, you can uh, use the rotation option. Next, we have the flip option, which flips your video or mirrors the video either horizontally or vertically. For now, I'm just going to reset my rotation so we can see the full effect of the rest of the options. Just click this. The first option is where you can flip your video vertically, like so. Uh, just imagine a line here in the middle, and it's like we're mirroring this footage like that. You can flip your videos to get a different result. Let's say on this video where the bike is on the right, I can flip it to make it come on the left. And then we have another option for flipping horizontal. Now imagine a line over here going across our video and I can just maybe turn my video upside down, bring it back. And using these two, you can just transform your footage. If you have flipped it, the box turns a light gray. If you turn it off or just not flip it, it's like this. You can also use this icon like we did for rotation to bring it back to what it was. So that was flipping. Next, we have scaling, which is just making your videos bigger. This right now is at 100%. 100% is the original scale of your video. 
No matter how big or small it is, the original size will always be 100%. If you go below 100, you're going to make it smaller until zero where there's nothing. Or you can bring it up to 400, which is as far as you can go. So you can either zoom in or zoom out onto your eclipse and maybe focus on one thing. So let's say if I want it to focus on this bike and not the rest of these leaves, I would have to scale into my video. Let's try it with, I'm going to undo this here. Let's try it with this where we have a lot of extra space around this flower. And I just want everyone to focus on this flower and the bug that's on it. So I have scaled it in by 184%. And now I'm just getting the flower and not all that space. I'm going to turn off the flip for this and... Yeah, you can use scale to zoom in or zoom out. If you zoom out like somewhere around here, you can get a nice frame for your video. Let's undo this. Once you undo, it goes back to 100%, which is the original scale of your video. You can see it jumps to 100%. And finally, we have position. This is basically where your video is in terms of X and Y. So imagine a plane. And right now it's on 0, 0, which is the middle, and that's precisely where the video is. If I move it along the x-axis, just go over the zeros and move to either the right or the left. You're just moving this across. You can also go to the point where the video is no longer in frame. Let's go all the way, there we go. Now I just have a black screen. And I could just do this to um, perfectly adjust my video and this goes hand in hand with scaling. For example, if I were to scale it like this, you can see the flower is not exactly in the center. So I can use position X to move it to the center. And now we're seeing the flower in the center of our work. We have the same option for Y. Let's uh, undo this. You can change the position Y of your video, which goes along the Y axis. Go to the right, it goes up. Go to the left, it goes down. Just like X, you can go as far as removing the video from your preview. And if I play this back, our video is just not there because it's all the way down here. Let's undo this. Using all of these transform options together, you can just maybe see it from a different perspective. And it's great for any video. So let's go ahead and fully transform this video. Like we said, we want the focus to be on the flower and to not see all of this. So I will just scale in until I see the flower. But right now it's uh, rather low and we are getting all this space up here and we have a lot of space on the right. So I will use position X to move it to the right. Just go until it's perfect. This is unbalanced because we're getting a tiny bit of space here and a lot of space up here. So let's just bring that upwards right over here. And now my flower is in the center. I did that by using the scale, the position X and the position Y. Now let's go ahead and do what we wanted to do earlier, which was to put the bug in a straight line. So I can rotate this till my bug is in a straight line. And now I would have to redo my position X and Y to bring this guy a little down and if needed zoom in a little more so we're not seeing any of the black box that's underneath our clip and now my bug is in a straight line and my flower is in the center. You can zoom out a little bit more until you're not seeing the black box which is the edge of your video so make sure you're zoomed in enough and we're just going to move the video a bit to the left and there we go. So I use rotation, scaling, position X and position Y. If needed, you can also flip your video like that if needed. We will not be doing that because we already decided that we want it to be this way. But if you do want to flip your video, make sure you flip it before scaling and changing the position. Let's take a look at uh, that over here. So I wanted this bike on the left side rather than the right side. I can do that by going on flip and just flipping it the other way. There we go. Now the bike is on my left and the plants are on my right. So I'm just going to bring the focus more towards the bike, which is blurred out, but I just want everyone to focus on this. 
So let's go ahead and scale into our video. It's going to scale towards the middle. We will need to reposition everything with X and Y. I'm happy with the scaling uh, around 160. Let's just type in 160. Hit OK or Enter. And then grab position X and go to the right because we want it to move towards the positive side. There we go. I'm going to keep the focus here. Maybe zoom in a little bit more. Bring it to the right. There we are. I also want my bike to be in a straight line. You can see that this is slanted. I will grab my rotate, the slider, and try to make a straight line with the video. There we go. And now I'm getting the black box, which is the edge of my video. So I would have to come a little bit to the left and then change the Y position to get rid of that yellow line. I think we're a little bit slanted with um, set control D with rotation. So I'm just going to redo this and now it's on a straight line. And there we go. I have used all four of these properties and completely transformed my video. So we're going to take a look at it before and after. I'm going to hit OK. Let's uh, I already have a extra video track. If you don't have a video track, just go over here, add video. Just click it once and you're going to have another video track. I'm going to go and use my first one. So let's grab the first video, put it below. Second video, put it underneath as well. I'm going to trim my video so it matches the one underneath. Let's turn off the visibility of track two, which contains the videos that we have transformed. This was before, this is after. So we have completely transformed our video. And now let's take a look at the second video. This was before, this is after. It's completely different from what we had. Now you probably notice that when we scale things in, we lose the quality of our clips. Right over here, you can see before doing the transform, we have a nice high quality footage. We can clearly see the edges there. But once we zoomed in, we did lose those crisp edges of the flower. So when you're scaling, you want to make sure that you have a high quality footage. If you don't have a high quality footage, you will end up getting a similar result. I'm going to delete these guys. So now we're just going to uh, bring in different media with different resolutions. And then we can see what happens when we zoom it in and which one looks better. So this right here, if you right click, the dimensions are 1920 by 1080. So I'm going to drag this in. Okay. And I want to compare it to a video that has a higher resolution. Go to Pixabay. After downloading, I can go into properties and I can see that it's quite larger than 1920 by 1080. So I'm just going to drag this in here and go to my project settings, bring the quality higher, the highest possible. Okay, so we have something that's 1920 by 1080. If we right click 1920 by 1080, if you right click on the other footage, which is down here, it's way larger. So let's go ahead and attempt to zoom in on both of these and see which one keeps the quality. So I'm going to scale this in by, let's go for 200. I'm going to type it in 200 and go to my other video, double click and also type in 200. There we go. I'm not going to touch the rest. We can already see the difference. So now I'm just going to drag this on top and I'm just going to bring this in the center. Let me turn the visibility off for a second and bring this guy at the center as well. So it's fair enough so we can see one of the flowers. I think this one's the one in focus. And now if I turn off the bring back the first flower, you can see how it's just blurred out on the edges and everything is just low quality. But the second video, you can see how crisp that is, even though we have scaled it in by 200%. So it's really important to take a look at the resolution of your video in order to not lose the quality when you're scaling uh, into your footage. So again, this was also scaled by 200%. So was this. But we have more quality on the uh, larger file compared to the smaller file. So make sure you right click on your footage, check the properties to see whether you can scale into your footage or not. And that was how you can transform your videos. Let's move on to the next lesson.